give us an opportunity to actually share, of course, our basic concepts. I'm assuming that there's percentages of people who've been with us for some time and percentages of people who are looking at us, and then there's percentage of people who've been with us a short time. So I'm going to uh, communicate knowing that sort of ratio. And basically, um, the whole idea is to get the word out there to every human being on Earth that uh, there are no genetic diseases. I know that freaks everybody out. There are no genetic diseases. There are no genetically transmitted birth defects. Um, with the exception of infectious diseases and fetal alcohol syndrome, those sorts of things, and some prescription drugs and a few uh, pollutants, 99% uh, of all birth defects are caused by nutritional deficiencies of the embryo. And uh, most of them uh, are all 100% preventable. And uh, there's some few that uh, uh, are fixable after the baby's born, but most of them, for, for instance, like a cleft palate, you may need to do surgery after the baby's born because you can't reverse it with um, uh, nutrients. You can prevent cleft palate with nutrients. And uh, all vertebrates, all vertebrates, whether you're a fish or a turtle or a porpoise or a human being or a flamingo or a giraffe or a, a wallaby or a kiwi, doesn't matter. All vertebrates uh, you get deficient with the same nutrients during pregnancy, you get the same birth defects. And then um, after you're born and you're living the wonderful life as a child or an adult, uh, all vertebrates, again, get the same deficiency, get the same diseases. Uh, there are no genetically transmitted diseases, and this is called epigenetics. And I'm um, excited to say that uh, we've been a leading force in replacing with the failed theory of genetics with epigenetics, uh, which means we're in better control. Um, historically, doctors have said, look, um, you have terrible genes, you have five generations of birth defects, and especially don't have kids. Well, that's all nonsense. If everybody gets the 90 essential nutrients, uh, 60, that's six zero minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 minerals, three fatty acids, uh, we can eliminate, again, all birth defects. We can eliminate all diseases that are considered things like um, pre-existing conditions, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, uh, heart disease of all kinds, liver cirrhosis, all these sorts of things are totally preventable. And most of them are reversible after you get them just by simple changing the diet and also taking the 90 cents of nutrients. Uh, the failure came because plants only require three elements from the soil to make good seeds from this generation. All vertebrates require 60 nutrients from the soil. Okay, the elements from the soil, minerals primarily. And... Uh, it's one of those things where the only way you're going to guarantee a perfect development of a child is to supplement with all 90 essential nutrients, including all 60 from elements from the soil, leaving nothing to chance. And we can eliminate these diseases, reverse these diseases, make things better for everybody. And the only people who are going to complain are the medical system. And although there's lots of nice people in the medical system, uh, all over the world, the systems have failed us because they relied on failed information, uh, false information of genetics and uh, pre-existing conditions like autoimmune things, your body's attacking itself. It's all nonsense, all nonsense. And that gives everybody a lot of hope out there and uh, makes things a lot better.